fungi. Generally, they are microscopic, eukaryotic, and usually filamentous, spore-bearing organisms, and they don't have the chlorophyll. Their cell walls are made up of chitin, with a, a few exceptions, such as in oomycetes, their cell walls are made up of glucans and cellulose. They may be the unicellular, such as in yeast, or multicellular organisms. They do not have any complex body and organs. Study of fungi is called as mycology from the Greek mykes, which means mushrooms, and the mycologist are the persons who studies the mycology. And the first mycologist was Italian Pier Antonio Mitchell, who published his research entitled Nova Plantarum genera. As far as occurrence of the fungi is concerned, fungi use variety of habitats, such as they can grow in water, soil, dead organic matter, and they also present inside animals and plant bodies as the parasites or saprotrophs. Inside the bodies of the animal and plants, as the parasites or symbionts. The fungi that obtained their food material from dead organic matter, they are called as saprotrophs. They have specialized enzymes to break down the organic matter and these enzymes responsible for hydrolysis of organic matter are called as hydrolytic enzymes. Coprophilus are the fungi that grow on animal dung and parasites. They rely on the host and get their food from host tissues. Symbionts are the mutualistic organisms that they form a peaceful relationship with other organisms such as they form mycorrhiza with the roots of the higher plants or sometimes with the algae known as the lichens. General structure of fungi. Body of fungus is called as mycelium. This mycelium is composed of small thread-like structures known as hyphae. Hyphae may be of septate type or aseptate or non-septate type. Non-septate is the condition in which there isn't any cross walls between the adjacent cells. If the cross walls between the adjacent cells are absent, the condition is known as non-septate. And if individual cells are separated by the presence of septa or cross walls, the hyphae are called as septate hyphae. As far as the cell structure of the fungi is concerned, fungi are eukaryotes and they are protoplast composed of cytoplasm and nucleus. So their nuclei have nuclear membrane and chromatin network that is why they are categorized as eukaryotic organisms. And the condition in which a single hyphae Without the cross wall containing a number of nuclei, the condition is called as cenocytic. In most of the fungi, cell wall is composed of the chitin, also made up of cellulose, but in some fungi such as oomycotes or water molds. The reserve food material in most of the fungi is the glycogen or in some they may, there may be oil droplets as well. Vacuoles are also present in the center of cytoplasm in most of the older hyphae. Special type of mitosis is also a feature of the fungi that is known as the nuclear mitosis. Nuclear mitosis is the condition in which the chromosomal doubling and separation of chromosomes takes place inside the nuclear envelope after the separation of chromosomes into two separate groups, the nuclear envelope. Nutrition in fungi. Fungi lack the chlorophyll. They do not have chlorophyll, therefore they are, therefore they are unable to manufacture their food by own. So they may live as a saprophytes, parasites or symbionts. Saprotrophs. When the fungi live on the dead organic matter, they are called as saprotrophs. They absorb the food material from the substratum, from the dead bodies of organisms or dead organic matter by sending specialized hyphae called as the rhizoids. The example of saprotrophs are mucor and rhizopus. Whereas parasites are the organisms that live on the variety of living organisms 
and these living organisms upon which these parasites are present are called as hosts they absorb food material from the living tissue through a specialized hyphae called as hostoria hyphae that absorbs food material from the living tissues is called as the hostoria while the and the hyphae that absorb the food material from dead organic matter are called as rhizoids there are two types of parasitic fungi they may be the ectoparasite if they remain outside the host body and absorb food by sending hostoria into the body of the host such as ericifi and endoparasites are those in which mycelium penetrates inside the host tissues and absorb food material parasites are also of two types they may be the facultative parasites or obligate parasites facultative parasites are those which can live without their host which can live without their host as the saprotrophs while obligate parasites cannot live without their host they usually die with the death of the host symbiotic relationship is the another type of the food obtaining mechanism by the fungi or in the symbiotic association in which both the partners get benefit is called as the mutualism and most of the fungi are mutualist they may be present in the form of lichen when they form association with the algae and algae prepare food for the fungal partner while the fungal partner is responsible for most of the absorption and protection another mutualistic association of the fungi with the roots of the higher plants and this condition is called as mycorrhiza myco means fungi and rhiza means the roots when the association is formed between the roots of the higher plants and the fungi is called as the mycorrhiza and in the mycorrhiza fungi are responsible for the absorption of water and minerals because in most of these plants root hairs are absent in the roots and in return the fungal partners get food from their their plant partners some fungi may be the predaceous fungi they trap small animals such as rotifera protozoans and many other small animals by tracking devices or capturing the animals 